two days after sending troops into Gaza. Israel's military signaled intensified attacks on the Strip, now in its second phase of the war. The military spokesman says they are gradually expanding the ground activity and the scope of our forces in Gaza and are progressing through the stages of war according to plan. The number of Israeli soldiers who have crossed the border into Gaza is unclear. But Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned the war will be long and difficult. On Sunday, armored vehicles were seen on the border in southern Israel as the military once again called on civilians to leave northern Gaza, the focus of its offensive. Today, we increase that urgency of that warning. But even as phone and internet service were partially restored, the communication blackout has left most Gazans feeling isolated from the outside world. According to the United Nations, Israeli strikes have already forced nearly half a million people to leave their homes. We have been doomed to destruction and displacement, he says. Amid a worsening humanitarian crisis, the UN agency that aids Palestinians says thousands of people broke into its warehouses to take basic survival items. This is an indication that people in Gaza have reached a breaking point. The levels of, of frustration and despair are really very high. Earlier on Sunday, the Palestinian Red Crescent reported raids 50 meters from a hospital in northern Gaza that's also sheltering some 14,000 displaced Palestinians. The group said it received warnings from the Israeli army to immediately evacuate, which the head of the World Health Organization called deeply concerning. The military spokesman declined to comment on the report. For City News, I'm Karen Siolin.